Hello everyone and welcome back to Send It's Weather Channel. Today we're going to be doing our six week look ahead with the ECMWF forecast, um, which will take us from the 2nd of December, the first week, to the 6th of Jan, 2025. How are things shaping up for December? Let's have a look. Well, at the moment, from the outset, um, on Wednesday today at 9pm, 9, 9 it is 0, 0.0 degrees. Pretty chilly, I would say. And um, daytime temps have been much better here. It reached 5 degrees. Let me know what it reached in your area. But then the rest of the, the remainder of the week, up to about Friday, doesn't look very mild at all. Before Saturday, Sunday looks a little bit more mild, a bit more um, above average. But at the moment, though, it feels quite chilly. Um, well, how do things shape up in the long term? Well, let's have a look. That's what we're going to be looking at today. If you do enjoy this video and you enjoy all of my weather videos, then please do consider dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. Um, we're on the road to 500 subscribers already, so I greatly appreciate it. And also, um, and, and I greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and also um, liking. But um, I will be making a more consistent upload schedule, um, which I'll be putting out on my community page at some point this week. So let's start then enough waffle mean sea level pressures then um for the first week the second to the 9th of december and from from this outset week one high pressures trying to get towards scandinavia and is extending through western europe low pressures towards greenland and we're bringing in the wind from sort of a westerly so it's quite a mild direction hence shown by this um so temperature anomalies are about one to three degrees above average um, so pretty mild uh, week two is the 9th to the 16th of December, and this is where there's a bit of a change to a colder outlook. So any cold lovers out there, here you go. High pressure begins to transfer to the west. Low pressure you can just see to the north of Scandinavia, but you'd expect more of a trough um, through the north of Scandinavia. And winds are beginning to pull in from a north north or northwesterly. Now obviously we're on the periphery of that, all the cold air is going um, with the jet stream into um Eastern Europe and to Norway, but we would see a little bit of a, of a decrease in temperatures with this, you'd expect. Again, ridge out in the Atlantic, up towards Greenland, mid-Atlantic ridge, um, blocking off the low pressures, and around that the winds will be in from the northwest or north, so potentially a bit colder. And there you go, and anomalies are still above average in for Scotland, but more around average or no signal for many parts of um, central and southern Britain. And as you can see, many parts of Western Britain, including to France and Spain, are below average. We've got to show the precipitation. So the first week, second to the ninth, is um, slightly west of an average, and the second week is drier. Hence the high pressure signal um, shown by the model. It does look like high pressure will be dominating um, from that week, sixteenth to the twenty-third of December. Then, how does that compare? Well, there's a definite trend, trend towards a weaker signal. There's low pressure still towards Scandinavia, but the high pressure seems to be further out to the west. But through here, um, this could be a massive trough. This could be the polar vortex of doom bringing low pressures in. <laughs> With this low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south sort of pattern. Or it could be on the cold side of a jet, where the jet runs along the high. So it could be something like this. We could be on the cold side. But that's all surmising. That's a little bit of a weak signal. Um, the the um, 500 millimeter heights don't look any better. They just show a ridge out in the Atlantic and low pressure to the north. So um, that's a little bit uncertain. Temperature anomalies are above average, so would indicate more of a westerly flow, like I perhaps indicated. And precipitation anomalies, forget to keep showing these, are a bit wetter than average. Hence why I reckon that could be the polar vortex or the um, just low pressures running in the uh, the jet stream being too powerful. Um, week 4 is the 23rd to the 30th of December, so the Christmas week. And it looks flat as a pancake. High pressure to the south, low pressure to the north. And winds are in from a direct westerly. Oh dear, this is not looking great. Again, high pressure um, on the 500 millimeter heights, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, and winds are in from the west. That is not a great arrow, <laughs> but the winds are in from the west. Temperature normals are actually going a little bit further above average, so Christmas week looks mild and probably quite dry as well. Eh. Weak signals, of course, because we're four weeks out, but west to the north, drier to the south, indicative of a westerly flow. You'd expect the UK to be wetter, especially in the north. And finally, week five is the 30th of December to the 6th of Jan. Oh dear. Look away if you want cold. <laughs> 
then into the first week of Jan, low pressure towards Greenland, high pressure towards France and Spain, and winds are in from the west or the southwest, so a very mild start. Now, I wouldn't take these charts too literally, just for a bit of fun, of course. Um, temperature normally is obviously going way above average there. Well, way above average, 1 to 3 degrees, and obviously a wetter signal. So a bit of a short video today, <laughs> but a bit of a disappointing update as well. Oh, dearie me. Well, that doesn't look great for cold lovers, does it? Oh. Um, the problem is that the polar vortex is actually... The, the, you need the winds to be weaker than average, and they look to be slightly stronger than average at the moment. Um, so what you really want is for um, a weaker than average PV or mean zonal winds. I'll show you here, actually. I can bring them up. So as you can see at the moment, um, they're hovering around or slightly above average. You want these to be dropping low and like this, <laughs> uh, but that's very rare for it to happen. If it did, then you'd then there'd be more, um, there'd be less pressure or less low pressures um, to the north, which would bring them down and increase the risk of blocking patterns potentially. But because the PV is so strong at the moment, um, maybe even reaching record levels. But that's uncertain, of course. Um, then um, it's very difficult to get any colder weather going, which is why you get westerlies, which is looking like the general pattern, quite zonal. Hence the pattern zonal. <laughs> that's my uh, verdict. But again, as you can see from about the Christmas period, it does start to drop. Remember, if there is any tropospheric impacts from weakenings of the PV and stuff, that takes two weeks to register. And obviously, that's obviously uncertain until you're getting closer to the time. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out. If you have a look at the weather regimes very quickly, which I'll bring up just here. Well, you, can't, you can only see to this date here, the 29th. I think, on this chart, the 29th, Sunday the 29th, that you can see there's a big spread in solutions, so I wouldn't take anything as gospel at the moment, but a few runs between the 5th and the 10th are, in, are indicating a block, so that could be towards um, Greenland, indicating um, northerly winds or northeasterly winds or maybe high pressure centred over the top of the UK, that is generally a possibility. Um, so all to play for, I'd say, Take that with a pinch of salt because the ECM's been going very mild for a long time. Didn't pick up on the cold spell last week and it snowed like a bomb in some places, didn't it? Brought flooding to um, Wales at the weekend. Um, so just for a bit of fun this video, but if you did enjoy, leave a like. And I'll see you all in the next weather video.